house and I, I would like to start with the fact that uh, BTS fans are the best in the world <laughs> honestly you guys are so supportive whenever I do this BTS reaction videos uh, not only you watch uh, basically my videos but also you your comments are amazing your comments are really supportive and I like how you guys interact uh, with each other as well over there so thank you thank you so much and because of that this time i promise <laughs> i will do everything correctly with the lyrics reading the translations actually understanding the meaning between the lines you know behind meaning behind each song i will definitely do that with you guys but before we start reacting to this new album by bts let me know in the comments below what is the best album by bts Matter of fact, let's do uh, from best to worst when it comes to albums of BTS. What do you think? Which is the best album among uh, Love Yourself, Her, Love Yourself, Tear, Wings? Basically, all in all in among all albums, I want from best to worst list. Can we do that? Hopefully, yes. <laughs> all right. Music with Bob. BTS new album is called... Map of the Soul Persona. First reaction, let's go. Yo. I was like, who is this? Am I listening to a, a, like American rap? Okay, this is completely different. The beat reminds me of the rap I listen to. <laughs> Uh, it's it's from uh, Sonic, right? The, the samples, the sounds. The, the guitar. Um, the the production choice is really really interesting for me. This one. Huh. Hey, hey, hey. So I'm thinking that that's RM, right? If it's in English, he's the only one who knows English. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, RM. He, uh, if the information is not updated on that, RM is still only one who can speak English, and he learned he learned to do that. I mean, he learned how to speak English by watching a TV show Friends over there. Um, yeah, so. Overall, an okay track. It's not a bad track. It's pretty uh, bombastic intro to the album. Uh, it's pretty short, by the way. The album itself only has seven tracks. And uh, if you are watching Music with Bob for the first time in your life, uh, I will let you know that I'm not a BTS fan. <laughs> like, let's just like make it straight. I just love to react to other uh, new material, you know, even if predominantly I listen to American music. But BTS, I will say, even if I'm not a fan, I do like some of their songs. Uh, it's always nice to just like at least once a year listen to their new material. And like uh, when I when I'm done with the reaction videos, for example, I just uh, go back and listen to them. Sometimes, uh, you know, there are always a couple of songs from for my playlist. I get and I, I listen to it and plus my sister as i told in other reactions already um she's a she likes bts so yeah we will listen together let's go to track two let's see what's up track two is called boy with love featuring halsey let's see what's up where's ed sheeran <laughs> you guys promised ed sheeran i wanted ed sheeran <laughs> but halsey is fine too Wait, is it Halsey right now? Yeah, I think it's Halsey right now. Huh. 
Okay. I like it. It sounds pretty good, actually. Pretty good. One thing I still cannot do is distinct members by voices. I already showed on previous videos that I know their names, but the problem is actually distinguishing who is who by the voice. Damn, guys. Uh, I, I'm just reading the lyrics of the first track, and what I can uh, notice is that these lyrics are pretty good, like, they're pretty complicated. I was just thinking, damn, I will probably spend another five minutes just, like, analyzing this uh, song. But in summary, let's just say that uh, it's about a person, first of all, like, finding yourself, you know, and there ha it had a lot of great lyrics, for example, who am I? The question I had my whole life. The question which I probably won't find an answer to my whole life. If I were answerable with a few mere words, then God wouldn't have created all those various beauties. How you feel? How are you feeling right now? It's um, it's really good actually. And like the reference, there was a reference like this. I'm still not so sure if I'm a dog or a pig or what else. Uh, and that's genius.com suggesting that it's a reference to South Korean government so they're like getting even uh, political a little bit with this uh, lyrics basically South Korean Ministry of Education said that all this 99% of people in South Korea they're just like dogs and pigs meaning they're not uh, really smart they're just like uh, eating pooping and <laughs> nothing else they're just alive for no reason basically they're just being fed and like you know they're not they're pretty much useless kind of thing so one of the members it doesn't say who on the translation mentioning that which is interesting which is uh, smart there's a lyric which says one says run another says stop meaning there's so many opinions it's much better to just like follow your own gut rather than like listening to people sometimes like not all the cases because of course there are some good advisors in the world and if you listen to those who actually know what they're talking about for example if you uh, follow uh, let's say Gordon Ramsay uh, advices on how to cook it's probably good advice you know but there are so many useless information as well that you don't need to listen to they're talking about that and so many opinions well and the song c closes with who the hell am i i just want to go i just want to fly i just want to give you all the voices till i die i just want to give you all the shoulders when you cry uh who am i who am i you know like it's uh finding a persona in within yourself and the second track with halsey goes like this the romantic song is a love song oh please like be with me you know like uh please teach me more about yourself please i want to know more it's like when you're be being needy for example and that's that's an okay thing for sure. oh, honestly like i'm pretty needy <laughs> i can be needy like not gonna lie but um i just wanna i just wanna ta taste that person a little bit more you know like can you give me some little bit more of yourself like because you're not getting giving me enough you know but that's a reference uh to the lyrics I'm I'm giving my experiences to sort of like portray this lyrics a little bit. Your every picture I want to have it under my pillow. Uh, it says, well, not necessarily for me, <laughs> but you know, I'm curious about everything. How's your day? But that's that's true, you know, things like that. It's just it's, it's a romantic song. I think uh, Halsey actually did a good job with uh, fitting onto the track with BTS. I'm sure it was not really easy to do so because two different worlds are colliding but they did a good job honestly and Halsey was really good. Sometimes I was even wondering if it's a Halsey or BTS member because she was sounding uh, really close um, as they as if they would sound, you know, like similar to their sound. Okay, track three, Microcosmos. And the production is already spacey, like you're in, in uh, space. In Cosmos. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. 
Uh. Okay. Okay. Um, this song, when it comes to production, Sonical Experience, this is a pretty much standard BTS song, in my opinion at least. Uh, I've heard this kind of track in previous BTS albums, whether it's from... I'm, I don't want to actually generalize because I'm, I'm not really familiar with every track at this point. I, I didn't go back. It's been a while since I go, went back to other albums by BTS, but you know, when I think of BTS, like this song, like is not something out of a box. You know, this is pretty standard sound for BTS. The other two tracks, though, the first two with Halsey and the the Persona track, uh, they were pretty experimental for BTS sound, especially the first track, as I said. Like it had guitar, like bass on it, and RM was just going nuts, you know. It, and with his rapping, of course, they, it was similar to what American scene would do, but it was still good. Plus, in American scene, you don't always get guitars on, like riffs on, on your melody, on your rap melody. But yeah, but this one, uh, I kind of liked a little bit less. It's still an okay track, but I liked it a little bit less because there was not enough experimentation for my taste. I thought I was much more entertained when BTS gave us the first and second track because something different was happening all the time. Whereas here, oh, okay, it's just uh, that BTS sound we know. Which is, for, for a fan, will be good because that's what they want. But for me, like just a music reactor, as a neutral guy when it comes to BTS it's like oh, oh okay fine <laughs> you know by the way I was thinking as well from when I mentioned at the beginning that you should do best to worst albums of BTS please include this album too like I forgot to mention the name of the album this name of the album include this one in the ratings as well from worst to best I'm still waiting still waiting let me wait a couple of seconds to you <laughs> to make your decision and comment below. Awesome, we can move on. <laughs> Track four. I always wanted to make that uh, happen, like in one day in my camera, <laughs> just to be Dora the Explorer one day. Like wait, and then go. <laughs> Track four. Make it right. Okay, now this is. Okay, this is different. You know, like the sound. The beat is wavy. I feel like this is RM right now. Okay, not this, but the first guy. If I'm right about RM in this song, if he, if the first guy was RM, then finally I at least can distinct RM from the other people. <laughs> oh no, that was V. My bad. Damn it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Now it's Jungkook. Oh, Genius says that this song is a collaboration with Ed Sheeran. What? Maybe Ed Sheeran co-wrote co this song? Bro, is it Jimin again? Jimin who sounds like a girl when RM was giving his verse for example at the back I always heard like a like a female vocal like genuinely female vocal I if they wrote featuring Halsey on this track I wouldn't be surprised honestly like there was someone giving vocals really in the feminine feminine style there was also uh, points in the chorus when there were like it really felt like okay this is a girl singing but no i think it was jimin again or like there was there's a guy who 
sounds like a girl <laughs> has like high pitch vocals honestly like it's it's an okay EP so far but i wouldn't say i'm i'm really having a lot of fun whereas comparing to other previous albums i don't remember when it comes to wings particularly but i remember i really loved love yourself tear i think it was really well done it was really well done and I was having a blast, I was like jumping around, dancing. Maybe it's just like I'm not in the mood, maybe that's a factor, but like right now I was like, okay, okay, like not a bad collection of songs, but it's like, like, it's okay, but it's like for this it's fine, but I'm not really getting that much hype. But let's, let's check out other songs. Uh, oh, let's go back to the translations first. Okay, pretty standard lyrics by bts i can become your hero it's you who i care about like you're my journey which is fine with uh, like i am a sentimental dude which is like these lyrics are fine with me i'm just saying that it's not about politics <laughs> as it was uh, in, in the first track for example uh they're not giving it, uh, anything else rather than like okay you're awesome you're awesome and i really I really want to be with you kind of deal uh, on this track again. Uh, track 3 is a similar topic but it has a lot of, uh, since it's a space, it has a lot of uh, stars, lights, starlights, starlight that shines brighter in the darkest night kind of deal going on. It, it has a lot of good simile and metaphors and imagery. Our own dreams let us shine, you shine brighter than anyone else. One. These lyrics are ma made in a more interesting perspective for me. Like they give something, since it's a microcosmos, everything is related towards the stars and like elements of the uh, space. All right, now let's listen to track number five and we have Home. <laughs> Okay, that was that was nice. That was okay. Uh, track six. Jamei Wu. The piano. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, come on, sing it. Hey, hey, come on. Damn. Nothing, nothing dropped, fine. Let's continue enjoying the vocals. Ooh. The, the trap, drums. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. I'm feeling it finally. I'm finally feeling it. Last time I felt it was on track two. Kind of remind me of Bazzy. You know Bazzy, like you so mm -hmm. precious when you smile, like the my can't that our hands on your body. I don't wanna waste no time. It's like the remedy. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, I was I'm singing the bass again, but like you got the gist, like it's like same progression. Remedy, and then da 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 da. Okay. okay, a little bit different, a little bit different. But like the sonical experience is similar. Okay, finally, 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 a good song. Actually, like, like I mean, okay, fine. Other songs weren't bad, but it's like, this one, like, went through. Okay, like, I actually enjoyed it, you know? The, the track, so I enjoyed it too, Boy With Love, featuring Halsey, and the first one was kind of cool too, but like, 
this one, like cutting edge, like damn, I was like, I actually enjoyed the singing of the guys, and yeah, I, I thought the whole track was arranged beautifully, Mwah. yeah, fantastic, great song, I really enjoyed it, let's finish the album with this track, Dionysus, and then we will go uh, to the lyrics of these three tracks we have listened. Okay, this one requires standing, I believe. Something major is gonna happen. Okay, okay. Kong 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 The rhymes of 2019 <laughs> Damn, the transition was so unexpected. Damn. The anticipation and then the drop. Come on. Go. Okay. Where was this in the beginning? From the beginning, where was this? Fuck! Where was this from the beginning? <laughs> Why at the end? What the fuck, BTS? <laughs> what is this? God <clears throat> You gave me freaking from three to five boring ass tracks <laughs> you start with an okay decent track and then it's the second track okay fine good fine whatever Halsey feature and then finally at the end you decide your highness decide to drop actually beautiful track and then at the end you just give this like freaking rock and rollish type of deal from the 50s like damn it oh not 50s uh, 70s and 80s actually rock and roll wasn't <laughs> alive back in the 50s like <laughs> it's like what? where was this energy from the beginning that's my question that's what i want to know about <laughs> it's like God damn. i was thinking the whole review where is the tracks like DNA or like Idol? Like, where is this like a beat like dancing? Like, actual, like, you're a BTS, right? Like, you're a K pop band who uh, are phenomenal at dancing your ass off, like, with a crew and stuff like that. But, like, where are those tracks? Like, I can't, I didn't get them. And then at the end, you go crazy and nuts with this dinosaur, <laughs> dinosaurs, like. Dino Weisses, whatever. I don't know what just happened, like <laughs> And me and me going like the hardest dance uh of twenty nineteen <laughs> like within my reviews it's like <laughs> what just happened right here? It's like <laughs> crushing everything I can up <laughs> crushing everything I can <laughs> in this room it's like what happened 
But I didn't expect this at all. Like <laughs> me getting a hardest dance out of BTS reaction review video, not from anything else, but actually from BTS video. That's that's worth something for sure. Okay, damn. Oh shit! I gotta, I gotta read the translations of the lyrics. Hold on. Oh, I just saw the cover in detail. There's like a, it's like a map, a map of the soul, right? And then in the heart, there's like a dot of map of the soul and then another destination is persona. Like you have to get there and cut. Okay, that's creative actually. Oh, okay. So uh, track number five talks about how uh, their fans are pretty much, uh, it's their house those are all oh, like their home uh when they're lonely when they feel tired like the, the fans they turn to their fans and then they the fans making them feel good uh, making bts band feel good don't mind the noises by the way in the background if you hear and so my um, siblings are playing <laughs> i gotta wrap up wrap up this uh review uh so track six is talking about jamais vu it's like the opposite of deja vu it's like oh like um i did something familiar so in, an individual is doing something they're familiar with but it seems foreign to them it's like the opposite of deja vu i didn't really understand that much the lyrics like meaning what they're trying to say but all i can say is like for example Jin on verse 4 says i'm fine but i'm not fine it's like typical bts shit basically <laughs> it's like honestly like on, it's for the fourth album uh, i'm i'm good but i'm not good i'm in love but i'm not oh can i please get the girl <laughs> but um i'm that sentimental too as well so it's all good uh i'm I, i'm giving a little like a negative thought out of because of love out of love not because of hate uh and um and then we, we finished the track uh, the album with a uh, freaking crazy track dinosaurs or dino wises whatever it says drink it up shoot glasses one shot drink it up here kill it and let's steal it just get drunk like dinos dino y sauce it's good so oh so they're trying to shrug off artists and media criticism meaning like okay fuck it guys like we're tired of you like you're dictating oh what's good what's not good like you're criticizing all oh, this love yourself her was better than love yourself tear oh no actually no never mind <laughs> oh wings is the best album than bts love yourself uh, tear whatever you will never bts will never top wings it's like wings is the best album it's like they're tired they're tired of that they're fucking done they're gonna sh like shit on you fans like they're done <laughs> like the media criticism you know like that oh but okay hold on wait i messed it up okay not not fans the media it's like it's a different problem it's like the billboard article just said that jimin is two pounds heavier than he was in 2015 like that's the last kind of a deal like can I eat something? Like Jimin is saying <laughs> to this media criticism, like uh, I'm a human, like I want to fuck, I want to eat, uh, like can I do something like that? Like, or it's not allowed, like we are not machines, we can actually, we have feelings too, and like we have our needs, like we, we want sounding out of this life, uh, like not only dancing and uh, rehearsing all the time, you know, and like, but the crit the criticism of the media is strong, especially in South Korea. Damn, like the way they judge this K-pop band is crazy. It's like they're tired. Look, fuck you, fuck you. It's like like that. Uh, BTS is going crazy. That's it. That's the <laughs> that's the review of the album. <laughs> it's like what <laughs> if you oh damn my spit. Hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, subscribe. To this channel we're getting weird sometimes like this it's a normal thing actually on this channel so if you want to subscribe for this fuckery if you want to see more of this fuckery we can give it to you <laughs> here <laughs> get it music with pop <laughs> subscribe comment 
like, share, and I'll see you guys in the next ones. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.